Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever been on Xtool Creative Space and ask yourself, what's the difference on the right hand sidebar between cut, engrave, and score? Well, you're not alone. This is one of the most asked questions that I get in my comment section. So today we're gonna break it all down with some real examples so you know exactly how and when to use each one. So let's get into it by creating a new project. Here's one quick tip before we get started. I added this image of the Batman logo. I can click this image and notice that the only thing it lets me do is engrave it rather than score it or cut it. So the way that you can bypass that is come up to edit, use the magic wand, which is a background remover. So I can click the white space and remove that white background. Click save, come up to the offset feature Make a really low offset of as low as it'll let you go. Click confirm. And now notice with this offset, I can score, engrave, or cut this image. Now let's go a little more in depth. So first up, we'll talk about cut. So I'm gonna add some text. As you can see here on the right bar, there's three different options. I'm going to choose cut for this scenario. When you select the cut button in Xtool Creative Space, you're pretty much just telling the machine to go all the way through the piece of material. It's kind of like a cookie cutter style. It traces around the path and boom, your piece pops right out after you get finished. As you'll notice on the cut section, the speed does not go up as high as it would on the engrave section or the score section. So cutting is normally a slower speed and a higher power. A lot of times I use 100% power, six or seven millimeters per second, and multiple passes. You can use the cut option for signs, ornaments, custom shapes, puzzles, or anything that you want physically separated from the material. For the best clean cuts, you need to adjust your power and your speed and the number of passes depending on the material. You'll definitely want to test this out on a scrap piece of material first. I also recommend that if you're going to cut a lot of images you need air assist. The air assist blows air onto your piece of material while you're engraving to help make sure that there's no other shards or sawdust while your engraver is trying to cut. So that's pretty much the cut function. Now let's test it out on a piece of material and see how it works. I'm going to do 100% power, 7 millimeters per second, and 2 passes. So let's hop over to the engraver and see how it does. As you can see with the cut function, it cut through each letter around the outside of the letter so I can pop out each individual piece. Also notice how it went around the letter instead of engraving side to side. Next up we have engraving. So I'm going to add another text box and come over here on the right sidebar to engrave. Like I said before, the speed is a lot faster but the power is still 1 to 100 percent. Engraving is pretty much where the magic happens. When most people think of an X-Tool engraving machine, this is what they're thinking of. How this engraver can create pictures or images on a piece of material through going side to side and engraving each little part piece by piece. Engraving is perfect for photos, logos, text, and detailed artwork. Engraving is pretty much like coloring in your design. The laser moves back and forth burning away the top layer of your material to create depth or contrast. The engrave feature pretty much turns your X-Tool into a burn printer by using the laser to print on the image. For this engraving I want to do 65% power and 80 millimeters per second. That should be dark enough to see the engraving but not dark enough to go all the way through or burn the piece of wood. So now let's go back over to my Xtool D1 Pro and show you how this looks. So 
See how it's going side to side. Normally engraving takes a little bit more time than cutting or scoring, and it also creates quite a bit of smoke. But air assist will definitely help with that too. Scoring is pretty much like laser drawing with a pen. It traces around the outline of your design with a single line, but doesn't cut through it. It's faster than engraving and great for adding slight detail. So over here on the right, you can see that the power is still 1 to 100%, but the speed is a little bit less than it was in the engraving tab. It only goes up to 80 millimeters per second. Scoring is perfect for outlines, guides, light designs, fold lines, or some accent details on engraved pieces. I don't use the score feature that much, but whenever I first got my engraver and I wanted to create a board with grid lines on it to use as a grid for my engraver, I used the score feature to score the lines on the piece of wood. For this feature, I'm going to do 60% power and we'll do 60 millimeters per second just to see how it turns out because we don't want to cut all the way through it. As you can see, it pretty much just traced around each letter, not going all the way through. And you can see how quick the score feature is. If you were writing some type of note or some lettering, the score feature might be perfect for you. Okay, now let's look at this piece of wood and see the three different options, the cut, engrave, and score. So now we can see the difference. Cut goes all the way through, Engraving adds depth and texture, and scoring just outlines the surface for a fine line. So for some real fun, you could try to combine each one of these using different layering on the canvases on Xtool Creative Space. It'd be a pretty neat project to include engraved text, scored borders, and a cutout shape. And this will make your creativity really shine and give you some good practice. So thanks for watching. If this helped you understand the difference in the three, please give me a thumbs up and drop a comment if you've got any questions. Don't forget to subscribe for more X-Tool tips and project ideas from Tar Heel Engraving. See you next time and have a great one.